We are going to demonstrate how to assemble a telescope on an equatorial mount using the Levenhuck Skyline 90 by 900 EQ telescope as an example. The telescope comes in one large box, which holds a user manual, tripod, mount, telescope tube, and accessories. All telescope parts have individual packaging inside the box. Here's the manual with pictures and detailed instructions on assembling and adjusting the telescope. First, let's unpack and set up the tripod. This box holds an aluminum tripod and accessory tray. Assembling the tripod is very easy. Just take it out of the box, spread its legs, and the tripod is ready. You can loosen its locking knobs and extend the legs if needed. But don't forget to tighten the knobs after that. Now we need to stand the tripod on a stable flat surface and install the accessory tray, which comes in the same box as the tripod. The tray is attached to these notches using the screws on the tray. We need to locate the tray so its openings are aligned with the notches. Now we put one thumb screw from underneath and tighten it. Right now we will secure only one corner of the tray. The two remaining screws should be fastened the same way. Remember that you need to screw in the three thumb screws slightly first and only then Tighten them fully. Now we install a mount right here on the tripod. There are also slow motion controls in this box. We will attach them later. Take the box with the mount and unpack it. Here's what the mount looks like. This is how it lies in the box. Now we need to get it ready for work. To do so, we simply rotate its upper part, then tilt it slightly, and secure it with a bolt on the back of the mount. The mount is installed on the tripod very easily. The mount has a thread here, and the tripod has a threaded knob there. You just sit the mount on the tripod and tighten the knob. The knob goes in easily. Rotate it clockwise until it stops. Here is the knob used for the latitude adjustment of the mount. For your convenience, the mount has a scale running from 0 to 90 degrees. Now we need to set the latitude of the observation spot. For this, we align the pointer on the scale with the desired latitude and retighten the bolt so the mount doesn't lean forward. The pointer shows the selected latitude on the scale. Use maps.google.com to find out your current coordinates and worldtimezone.com to find your current time zone. Now here is where the optical tube goes. Let's unpack the telescope too. It's securely packed to avoid any damage during transportation. We need to remove the packaging tape, bubble wrap, and paper. To get rid of the paper, we recommend removing the tube rings. The tube is ready for installation. First, we fasten the tube rings to the mount. For this, there are special screws. We need to unscrew them 
put them in the openings on the mount and tighten them. It's better to use the wrench included in the kit. One ring first, then the other one. Now we put the tube into the rings secured on the mount. Don't forget to hold the tube so it doesn't slip from the rings and fall down. Keep holding the tube when tightening the ring clamps. We don't need to worry about damaging the tube as the rings have soft pads on the inside. Now we need to install declination and right ascension slow motion controls. The controls are attached to the corresponding axes. The locking screws need to be tightened manually. Now let's get the box with accessories and take the counterweight rod out. Here it is. Let's put it on the accessory tray for now. Let's take the counterweight out. Now we slide it on the rod, put it approximately in the middle and lock it with a screw. To attach it to the mount, screw the counterweight rod into the threaded hole. Now, take the finder scope and its mounting base out of the box with accessories. Note that the finder scope and its base are packed separately. Remove the elastic retainer from the finder scope base and put it on the finder scope. The retainer should be placed in the groove, like this. Now we set the finder scope in the base by pulling the silver stopper and planting it inside until the finder scope is securely fixed. The telescope tube has a special mounting plate for the finder scope. Loosen the screw on the plate, slide the finder scope in there, and then tighten the screw. Now it's time to balance the telescope. For this, we slowly unlock the declination axis lock knob. Make sure that the telescope is steady in any position. If not, carefully loosen the counterweight screw and move the counterweight along the counterweight rod until the telescope is balanced. Then tighten the screw securely. Tighten the declination axis lock knob. Now we are ready to balance the telescope in the RA axis. Unlock the RA lock knob. Check if the telescope is properly balanced. If it's not, loosen the ring clamps and move the telescope tube back and forward until the telescope is balanced. Tighten the RA lock knob. These two knobs should always be securely tightened. Before starting your observations, don't forget to remove the dust cap from the front lens of the telescope. 
take the diagonal mirror out of the accessories box remove it from the package take off the protective caps Remove the protective cap from the focuser and insert the diagonal mirror into the focuser tube. If needed, slightly loosen the locking screws. Tighten the screws. Now we take the eyepiece and remove the protective caps. Loosen the locking screws and insert the eyepiece into the diagonal mirror. Now tighten the screws. The telescope is now assembled. For your convenience, let's loosen the ring clamps and turn the telescope tube so that both focuser knobs are parallel to the ground. Tighten the ring clamps this way. Rotate the diagonal mirror until the eyepiece is perpendicular to the ground. This is the right position of the telescope. Now we need to find an object and point the telescope. Use two focusing knobs to get a clear sharp image. The telescope is ready to use. You can start your observations now.